Grade 5 Math, number 9.7. Graph and analyze relationships of ordered pairs. We can write and graph ordered pairs as a co on a coordinate grid using two numerical patterns. A numerical pattern is an ordered set of numbers. Their order helps us predict the next number or missing number from their sequence. So we're going to go over my cinnamon honey butter recipe as an example of two numerical patterns because it's a very easy recipe. For a half cup of butter, we put in a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and two tablespoons of honey. You whisk it together very vigorously or use an electric mixer and it makes a small batch of cinnamon honey butter. Really good on toast and muffins. If I use three cups of butter, how much cinnamon will I need? So we need to raise the cinnamon and honey exponentially with each other so that it increases with the butter, okay? But we don't, we're not worried about the honey, we're worried about the cinnamon, okay? So here's our first numerical pattern, the butter, and our second numerical pattern, the cinnamon. If I make one batch, I need a half a cup of butter and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. If I make two batches, I need one cup of butter and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. So now what we're going to do is look for the relationship between the butter and the cinnamon, okay? So don't pay attention to the honey right now. That's just up there for fun. If we make three batches, we use one and a half cups of butter and three-fourths teaspoon of cinnamon. Now even though it's cups compared to teaspoons, if you look, the butter is double whatever the cinnamon is. Half is double what one-fourth is. One cup is a double of a half. See? One and a half is double of three-fourths. Two is double one. So even though they're cups and teaspoons, the numbers are still doubled. Do you see that? So you would still be able to divide by two to find the next one. If we had eight and it was four cups of butter, you'd be able to divide the four from the cups of butter by two and know that you would need two teaspoons. See? So... The quantities are different, but the numbers relate, okay? So if we made this on a coordinate grid, this would be the teaspoons of cinnamon and this would be the cups of butter, it would go up perfectly in an angle. See that going up the slope? Our ordered pairs would be, for X and Y, it would be half cup butter, quarter teaspoon cinnamon, see? These are the cups of butter on the X and the Y is the teaspoons of cinnamon. So a half a cup of butter would be a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Three cups of butter would be one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. So this is what they are recipe-wise, but this is what our ordered pairs would look like mathematically. See? That's the X and that's the Y. We can see the relationship of the two numbers. See? So our rule, because we would need a rule, is... We would use one-fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon for every half cup of butter. The cinnamon in teaspoons is half the amount of butter in cups. So remember, even though it's cups versus teaspoons, the numbers still double. See? One to two. One and a half to three. So the numbers still double. We can divide by two the number of cups of butter to find the numbers of teaspoons of cinnamon. See? That's the relationship. So... That's how we graph and analyze relationships of ordered pairs. And this is the end of our chapter. And we're moving on to chapter 10. See you there. Bye.